He started to he started on his own, baby. <clears throat> it started on its own, I promise y'all. It promise y'all. And I'm gonna keep it just like this because I guess it was saying, let's go. Welcome to Cindy E Eats. I'm Cindy. Hey. Amen. 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 If this is your first time joining me, thank you for stopping by. Before you leave, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back to all my aunties, my OGs, my cousins, my brothers, my sisters, my nieces, and my nephews. Come, 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 come. We got Wingstop. This is garlic parmesan. This is the original hot, and I got some uh, Hawaiian. I got some fries. I got some buff blue cheese, and I got some ranch. We starting off with blue cheese because I'm eating these hots, okay? Let me see if I can move it just a little bit. Hey, just a little bit. I'm trying to put this sauce right here. We're going to start off with the hot. Just came back. So you're going to get all this today. It dropped all the way in there, y'all. Now it's completely covered. Mm. That is a wonderful first bite. Mm -hmm. Sorry about yesterday, y'all. I didn't post. And I'm in my car again, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. I don't feel like sitting up. And it's not that I have a lot to sell. I just don't feel like sitting up. Food be cold by the time I tell up. So sometimes it's a lot. In my car and it's raining. Water. Hold up. I had to cough and it was going to be disgusting. The main reason I don't want to sit up, y'all. I went today is Wednesday, same day you're going to get this video, so the video might be late. But I went bowling on Saturday. Had a great time. <coughs> it was women's fellowship with the church. Had an awesome time. Bo, I had me about three, four strikes. Mm -hmm. About three, four strikes. I didn't win my match. The person who scored, I mean, the person who won his score was 114. My score was 96. I don't know if that's a good or a bad score. For you bowlers, let me know. Is that a good or a bad score? And this is my second time as an adult bowling. I've only been bowling three times that I, I know for sure. One when I was a child. So this is my second time as an adult bowling. But y'all, I messed up my back bad. I was bowling for real, like I knew what I was doing. People kept asking me, did I bowl before? No. Hold on. So right now, it's much easier for me to sit in this car with this food.
than going in that house and setting up something. Okay? I've been taking me some muscle relaxers. It's been helping a little bit. I'm taking them for the last two nights. Tuesday and Wednesday. I mean, what's today? Today is Wednesday. I took it Monday, <clears throat> Monday night and Tuesday. I'm going to take it one more time tonight. And hope that it, you know what I'm saying, get me right. Get me back together. I'm going to do a little exercise. Stretch out my back. Um, she just ain't even gonna lie. She a little depressed, okay? She a little depressed. I am slightly. Let me let me take that back. <clears throat> I ain't gonna just say depressed. I'm gonna say down. But. My prayer this morning was for discernment. And I just discerned that I can't let my situation defy, define, or make me feel a certain type of way because God has always shown me what's possible and what's able and what he's willing to do for me. I had to discern from the truth, from the knowledge that I know and apply wisdom to it, to my current situation from previous times, okay? I ain't gonna talk about it right now, but I am gonna tell y'all, because I don't keep nothing from y'all. But yeah. And it just, I was just feeling a little, a little bad. Really like, It made me feel bad, but it also, it came to me today, realized it today, within the last 20 minutes that <clears throat> Oh, it got my heart race, <laughs> got me breathing hard and fast, and I'm scared. And not like scared for my life, but scared for my life in a way, if you would, if you would, okay. That's Hawaiian. Come on, don't you want to get into my money? I'm scared. This current situation has made me very, very feel fearful. And it's fearful of what's next because I'm scared I'm going to miss what God's telling me to do. Um, fearful for my future because I have no backup plan like I have I don't have a super savings off to the side in an offshore account like Legion okay and you know you hear so much you seen that YouTube commercial name that it's me, your future you. You are you seen that? You made bad money moves. And I have, I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't really had no money. And 
I know I keep saying it a lot. I'm 45. I'm right now at the tipping point to middle age. I don't have a savings, a retirement, anything. And I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. And being in my current situation makes it even scarier. When I think about it, that's where the fear comes in. That's where the doubt comes in. That's where being down, feeling sad, feeling depressed, you know, comes in because I'm thinking about it not with it but not with the thought of god because i never be able to think you know with the thought of god because our thoughts are not his thoughts but that's where that discernment kicked in for me today because i know i've been in worse situations i've been in worse situations and it got me thinking back to you know the times where I absolutely let God leave my let let God lead my life. I was truly dependent on him in every way and I was flourishing. And each time that I wasn't flourishing, I mean each time that I failed from flourishing, it was because of a person, but I've been free from that person. Cuz that was my <clears throat> might as well say drug of choice. You know what I'm saying? That was my that thing that had a hold on me. <clears throat> I've let that go 100%. It ain't even that for me anymore, okay? And I asked myself tonight, like, what is the biggest difference? From there, then until now. About, you know, when, when I let God lead my life versus now. And it came to me, there is no difference. <laughs> there is no difference. The difference is... Between then and now, I don't even have the knowledge that I had then. I don't even have the wisdom that I had then. Faith is still the same, but I didn't even have the discernment that I had then. But I have all of that now. And I'm just choosing to look on the other side versus what I know. You know what I mean? Of course, we all don't know everything. I can't know everything, but I do know that God has never left me, left me for dead. You know what I'm saying? He's never left me to uh just be out there willy-nilly, okay? Even at times when I couldn't figure it out. Back then, I knew to step aside. So I got to know to step aside this time, right? The biggest thing down from now is age. 
and that fear. I was younger then. You ain't never scared when you're young, right? <laughs> but now that I'm old, I'm scared. <clears throat> I want to leave something for my grandkids. I want to leave something to my kids. And I don't know how to make that happen on my own. I truly don't. So I have to leave it up to him. To set for me a plan. I mean, I have to leave it up to him and his plan for me. Because I ain't going to be able to figure it out on my own. I'm not going to be able to work this out. He's going to have to work it out for me. And that doesn't mean that, you know, I just sit here waiting on something to fall on me or put placed in my lap. I know I'm going to have to work for it. No, I'm going to have to work for it. Faith without works is dead, okay? So I have to step somewhere. I have to move somewhere. I have to run towards something. But I absolutely have to keep going forward. I can't look back at what was. I can't think upon of what could be, what's, what, what will be. Because I don't know. All I know is I have to keep moving forward. Keeping myself focused on him versus on me. Because I'm going to mess it up. Okay? I'm going to mess it up. So, needless to say, I got, I got, I got, I got myself, you know what I'm saying? It ain't been that long since what happened happened, but I felt myself falling, y'all. And this back ain't doing no good, you heard me? Ain't making no better. So, yeah. We ain't gonna stop. We're going to keep going. We're going to take it on the chin. We're going to take it on the chin. Whatever it is. But know my, that my father is going to heal me. Know that my father is in my corner in my back pushing me. Keeping me going. Giving me the encouragement. And that's the biggest thing too. Encourage yourself in the Lord. You got to encourage yourself. Ain't nobody going to do it for you. And that's what I've been missing these last couple of days. Encouraging myself. Letting myself know that it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He got me. So I get. I got to get that back in. You feel me? So I can keep fighting. Fighting for another day. Because each day is a blessing to keep moving towards the will of God. Okay? It is. I done talked enough. 18 minutes worth. So. Leave you with three things. The very first thing so that you know that God loves you. Number two, so do I. Number three, the reason I show up each and every time is for your viewing pleasure. Peace.